I don't think you're ready for what I'm about to present in this video. I really don't think you're ready for what I'm about to present in this video. And it all starts in the most unlikely of places. A place they want us to think is nothing but a third world wasteland. But in reality, it's a place fit for a king. Well, maybe not a king, but definitely an angel. 200, as a matter of fact, 200 fallen angels. While they create propaganda like Borat to keep us from knowing who actually lives here and what this place actually is, I figured it out. I figured out that the top of their pyramid just happens to have a secret meeting chamber with exactly 200 perfectly aligned seats. 200 perfectly aligned seats that just perfectly matches the amount of fallen angels talked about in the Book of Enoch. 200 that just almost perfectly matches the amount of impact craters that I don't know, could have been caused from heavenly bodies crashing down to earth. Heavenly bodies whose leader just happens to also be called Lucifer or the light bearer. The light bearer whose torch is often celebrated across all of the large cities of the world and whose torch who is oddly placed next to a giant Easter egg. An Easter egg that might actually reveal why eggs are associated with Ishtar because Easter was originally the celebration of Ishtar, the Assyrian and Babylonian goddess of fertility and sex. And maybe this city is also hiding the free energy that they're using, because I have seen these exact buildings associated with the old dirigibles that used to charge from them. But we haven't even talked about the most interesting thing that I found in this city called Istana, which just happens to be an anagram for the word Satan. And it's just down the road from this pyramid. Or should I say, right down the river from this pyramid. And I'm going to take this time and say, all of this is pure speculation. Obviously, there could be other stories here, but too many of them line up to me. Way too many of them. Especially when you see what I found here. And it's what I started this video with. You look at this, and you tell me, that doesn't look like some sort of portal. A portal that they might just be using to try to summon some real evil to this place we live. Or maybe even just a prop to propagate their fake summoning of the return of Jesus as a hologram. All I know is there's one thing I definitely know in all of this, is that this movie was created with intention to tell a vision of what this place actually is. Because I would put my money on it that 99% of you have never heard of the city in Kazakhstan called Astana. But you guys know I'm just kidding about all this. I don't really think 200 fallen angels are the actual controllers of this place we live. That's just silly. And I definitely don't think they build an egg and a light bearing torch to worship anybody. Totally not. You guys know I just love to entertain you and create these fairy tales and stories of evil versus good that they don't really exist. I don't really believe in Satan and Lucifer and all the fallen angels. 